CCC family, it's Dawn Marie with Custom Comfy Crochet and today we're going to learn how to make these really cute snow head ornaments um, or snowman head ornaments. So basically it's just a little snowman head with a little hat on top, a little poof here at the top. And yeah, they're pretty easy to make. Um, if you're not familiar with increasing and decreasing, things like that, don't worry. I'm gonna put that uh, a helpful video below to help you with that. And also if you're a total new to crochet and you need some help because you're a beginner, I also have a video below for that. So yeah, this is gonna be great fun, real easy, a uh, great little gift you can make or to put on your own tree. The hats can come off or you can sew them on, it's up to you. But then they have a little hanger here at the top and I'm gonna show you how to do all of this, okay? So first thing I wanna ask is please like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notify me bell below. Um, so that you can get notified about all my future videos. That helps so much when you do that. And when you share these videos, it really helps YouTube uh, content creators um, the most. So for your materials today, you're going to need a 4.25 millimeter hook. Uh, you could just use, if you don't have this one, you could use a four millimeter hook. Just remember if you go up or down in sizes of your hook, it either makes your project bigger or smaller. Um, you're going to need the kind of yarn that you want for your snowman head. In other words, whatever colors you want to make this. But just so you know, I just use some Mainstays um, Red Heart yarn for this. Um, the white, I think, is Mainstays. And these are different colors of Red Heart. Um, and then I used a Burnt Orange. And I believe this is Lion Brand. I used that for the nose. Um, and then you're going to need a pair of scissors. You're going to need some stuffing um, and you can use any kind of stuffing you want. You could use repurposed stuffing in your house. Um, you could use yarn. You could use all kinds of things. I have some pre-bought stuffing. I'm also using some doll eyes for these and I'll put in the description box below the link for those on Amazon. But you could also make little black um, uh, yarn eyes for these. They don't have to be the doll eyes. I just did it because I had some laying around. And so yeah, that's what you're gonna need and you're gonna need a stitch marker. I just use a piece of yarn for a stitch marker, but you might have the little plastic ones and you can use those as well. Okay, so let's get into the tutorial. Okay, so we're gonna start off with our white yarn. I've got my little clip here that I hold my yarn with. So I'm gonna move that out of the way and we're gonna start with a magic circle. Remember, like I said in the beginning of the video, if you aren't familiar with any of these stitches, I have a beginner video in the description box below that can help you with these. So we're gonna do our magic circle and we're going to do six single crochets into this magic circle. Now, as I stated, I'm going to be doing a lot of increasing and decreasing. Um, and so again, <laughs> there's a video for that as well if you need help. But into the magic circle, six single crochet, one, two, three, four, five, and six. And then you're going to tighten your magic circle. And then you're gonna go right into your first stitch working in the round, meaning we're not gonna close it with a slip stitch. We're just gonna go into the next stitch and work stitches. So right into our next stitch, we're going to work two single crochets, one and two. And then you're going to do two single crochets in each stitch around until you get to a count of 12. So that was one and two. Go into the next three and four. Into the next five and six. And into the next seven and eight. Into the next nine and 10 and into the next 11 and 12. So you ha should have 12 stitches all the way around. And now I'm going to introduce my stitch marker, which is just a piece of yarn. I'm gonna put that right in that last stitch I did. And now we're going to do another row of increase. So in this row, we're going to put one single crochet in our next stitch. And then we're going to put two single crochets and then one single crochet into our next stitch, and then two single crochets. And then one into our next, and then two. 
And you're just gonna keep doing that all the way around and you should have a stitch count of 18. Okay, and in this last stitch, we're gonna pull out our stitch marker. You should end on an increase, so put two single crochets there. And you should end on an increase for every row, okay, or round rather. Okay, so then I'm gonna put my stitch marker back into this last stitch I did, pull tight, and then we're gonna do another round of increase. So we're gonna go into our next stitch and do one single crochet, go into the next, one single crochet, and into the next, you're going to put two single crochets. And again, into the next one single crochet, into the next one single crochet, and into the next two single crochets. And at the end of this row, you should have a stitch count of 24. So again, one, one, and two, and one, one, and two, one, one, and two, and one, one, and then two. Okay, then we put our stitch marker back. And now you're going to do an increase of three and two. So I'm going to go into my next stitch, put one single crochet into the next one single crochet and into the next one single crochet. So that's three single crochets. And into the next, you're going to put two single crochets. And again, one, two, and three. And then into the next stitch, two single crochets. So you're gonna do that all the way around and you should have a stitch count of 30. Pull out your stitch marker. The last one should be two single crochets. And then you put your stitch marker back. And now we're going to increase up to four. So we're going to do four single crochets and two. So one, two, three, and four. And then in the next, we're going to put two single crochets. And then one, two, three, and four. And then two single crochets. So you're gonna keep doing that all the way around and you should have a stitch count of 36 for this round. Okay, so then we put our stitch marker back after our two single crochets in that last stitch. And now we're going to do four rows of single crochet. So that means you're just going to do one single crochet in each stitch all the way around for four rounds. So just like this, doing single crochets all the way around and then when you get back here to your stitch marker, pull your stitch marker out, put your last single crochet there and then put it back and then keep going around, okay? So I'm gonna do these four rounds of single crochets off camera and you do yours and we'll meet back up in just a minute. Okay, we just did four rounds of single crochet and now we're gonna go down into doing some decreases. So to de decrease, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off with the same number we stopped with. So we stopped with an increase of four and two. So we stopped with 36 stitches. You should still have 36 stitches. So now we're gonna do a four and two decrease. So we're gonna go into our next stitch and do one single crochet into the next one, into the next one, 
and into the next one, so that's four. And then you're going to decrease. You're gonna go into the front loop of your next stitch. And don't do anything. Go into the front loop of the next, don't do anything. Pull through and then do a single crochet and that pulls those two stitches together. Okay, and then you're going to do the same thing again. You're gonna go into your next stitch, do one single crochet into the next two, into the next three, into the next, and then there's four single crochets and then through the front loop, through the front loop, pull your yarn through both loops, go through a single crochet. So keep doing that all the way around. And then you should end on a decrease. Then you're gonna pull out your stitch marker. And in these last two stitches, you're going to do two together. So go through your front loop, go through your next front loop, pull your yarn through, and then do a single crochet. And then you're gonna put your stitch marker back. And now we're going to do three and two decrease. So you're gonna go into your next stitch and you're gonna put one single crochet into the next and put one single crochet and into the next put one single crochet. And then you're going to crochet two together. So you're gonna go through your next stitch front loop only, go through your next stitch front loop only, pull your yarn through and do a single crochet. And again, three, one, two, and three. And then another decrease, front loop only. It's two stitches, we're gonna pull out our stitch marker and we're going to do a decrease. So go put two together. Okay, just like that. Put our stitch marker back. And now we're going to do two in a decrease. So we're going to do two single crochets and then a decrease. So go into our next stitch, put one single crochet, go into the next stitch, one single crochet, and then a decrease. Okay, and for our last two, again, pull out your stitch marker. Work a decrease in these last two stitches. Pull through, and then put your stitch marker back. And then we're going to put our eyes in. Okay, so now we're gonna put our eyes in, and I've got my two little doll eyes here with a corresponding little plastic thing here that you put in the back. And what we're gonna do is rounds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So right here, I'm going to put my doll eye there. And then I'm gonna go over um, five stitches. One, two, three, four, five. And then right here, I'm going to put my other eye, okay? So that's just roughly the way I did it. You can put your eyes wherever you want. You could put them farther apart, closer together, whatever you wanna do. And then I'm just going to open this up like this, and then I'm going to place my little plastic fasteners here on the bottoms to hold them in. Okay, so we've got our eyes in place, and now we're gonna continue on with our decreases. So now we're going to do one and two decrease. So that means I'm going to go around and I'm going to put one single crochet in my next stitch. And then I'm going to put a decrease. And then I'm going to put one single crochet. And then I'm going to do another decrease. And one. So we finished our one and two decrease all the way around. I'm gonna put my stitch marker back. And now it's time for us to start stuffing our snowman head. So I'm gonna take my stuffing, and this is polyfill stuffing. And I'm just gonna break it apart. 
like this so it doesn't get all in one ball. And then I'm going to start stuffing the inside of my snowman head. Make sure that your yarn is pulled out really far. You're working yarn there so it doesn't get caught in it because you are going to keep crocheting, obviously, when this is done stuffed. And you can use your fingers just like this to move this around and shape it. If you've watched my videos a lot, you've heard me say this before, but when we buy stuffed animals from a store, they are made by machines that are pressing stuffing into the little stuffed animals. So you've got to be the machine. So make sure that you're using your hands to manipulate the stuffing how you want it to be. So I'm taking my fingers and I'm making sure to get in every crevice here making sure that it gets nice and filled. And what I wanna do is fill it to where the stuffing is almost coming out of the top of your project. And that's when you know that you've got enough in there. So it's almost wanting to pop out there, okay? And so then you're gonna put your hook right back on to your working piece. And then you're going to do a two and two decrease around, which means you're gonna go into your next stitch and you're gonna put one single crochet. I'm sorry, you're gonna go into your next stitch and you're going to immediately do a decrease. So into the next stitch, go through the front loop only, into the next front loop only, pull through and go through both of those. And again, front loop only, front loop only, pull through, go through both. And you're just gonna do that all the way around. Now you're wanting to close up your little snowman head here. And then for the last two, pull out your stitch marker, go through the front of your next stitch, the front of the next, pull through, okay. And there you're almost finished closing this up. The only thing that you need to do now is I want you to go through your next stitch and put a single uh, slip stitch and into the next and put a slip stitch and into the next and put a slip stitch and into the next and put a slip stitch. Okay, just like that. Then you're gonna cut off leaving enough room to work this yarn in. So pull through, just like that. Then take your darning needle, put that onto your leftover thread here on our yarn onto your darning needle and then you're just going to start closing this up by going through each stitch three four five and six and then you're gonna go right through the middle and out through the side somewhere, anywhere, and pull tight, and it's going to close the top up all the way together, okay? And then back through again. And just keep pulling through till it's all hidden in there. Now, if any point you start noticing that some of your project is kind of like caving in on itself, just use your darning needle to pull it out just like this, okay? And so now we can cut this off, pull tight and cut off. Okay, and there we go. So now I'm gonna show you how to make the hat. So what I'm gonna do is, is I'm gonna pull out my red yarn
And we're going to work the hat very similar to how we did the actual uh, snowman hat itself. We're just not going to be stuffing it or decreasing. So there's a lot of increasing here. So we're going to start with a magic circle again with six single crochet. So one, two, three, four, five, and six, and then pull tight. And then you're going to, working in the round, go into your first stitch right here, and you're gonna work two single crochets, one and two, and you're gonna do two single crochets all the way around for a count of 12. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then 11 and 12. Okay. And now we're going to put in our stitch marker because now we're gonna start increasing. So we're going to put one single crochet in our next stitch and in the next we're going to put two single crochets and into the next one single crochet, and into the next two single crochets, and into the next one, and into the next two. Just keep doing that all the way around and you should have a stitch count of 18. Pull your stitch marker out and then do two single crochets and then you're going to put your stitch marker right back okay so what I want you to do is keep um, doing this um, and you're going to do just like you did the snowman head, you're going to increase up to four and two. Okay, so if you need to rewind the video and go back to the beginning, you can, that shows you how to do that. But basically, you're just gonna keep going. We did one and two, so now we have 18. So then we need to increase up to 24, then up to 30, and up to 36. So once we get to that, I'll meet you back up and I'll show you how to finish the okay, So. Now we finished our increases up to four and two, which we have a stitch count of 36 now. And now we're going to start doing some half double crochets. So this is gonna cause, what we're about to do is gonna cause the hat to kind of fold over. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go into your next stitch and working in the back loop only, you're going to put a half double crochet. And again, in the back loop only, work a half double crochet. And you're gonna keep doing that all the way around working half double crochets into the back loop. Okay, just like that. Okay, so we worked all the way around doing our half double crochets. We're in our last stitch. Pull your stitch marker out, put a half double crochet in the back loop of that last stitch, and then replace your stitch marker here. And now we're going to be working half double crochets into the front loop all the way around. So we're going to go into the front loop and we're going to put a half double crochet in each stitch all the way around. Just like this. Okay, 
And then after you do this row, you're just going to do um, two rows of single crochet after this one. So after you do this right here, you're just going to do two rows of single crochet. So when we get done with that, I'll meet you back up. Okay, so I actually found that one row of single crochet was fine for mine. I'm going to cut off right here. You can do more if you want. You can make the hat as big as you'd like. I'm going to go into my next stitch. I'm going to work a slip stitch to pull it through. And then I'm going to pull through my yarn just like that. And now we've got our hat all done and it'll fit right on the top of the snowman head right here, just like this. And now we're gonna work on the little topper. So to do the little topper, okay, so do, to do the little topper, all you're going to do is you're going to take your yarn, you're gonna wrap it around your hand, I'd say about 40 times. And then you're going to cut off a long piece of your white yarn You're gonna take this off of your hand, like so. You're going to lay it down, just like that. Then you're going to put this on top of this white piece right here, and you're going to tie a knot right in the middle. Then you're gonna turn it over, and you're going to tie another knot like that and then you're going to start cutting so you're going to cut the ends just like this and and the key to make a perfect little poof is you want to use these strands that you've got that you've held out right here at the top. And then you're just gonna start cutting. So you just wanna cut as much as you can. The more you cut, the smaller and more perfect it's gonna be. Okay, so you just get it exactly the way you want it looks right there, and then we're gonna sew it onto the top of our hat. So I'm gonna clear this up and I'll Okay, right. so we've got the hat on here like this. So now what we need to do is we need to um, put our little puff on. So what I'm gonna do, I've left these two strings there at the bottom, you remember that I was holding it on with, and I'm going to put them onto my darning needle, and I'm gonna go right through the middle, right, well, close to the middle, right beside the middle. So here's the middle of the hat. I'm gonna go right over to the side and pull through. And then I'm gonna take my other string or piece of yarn. I'm gonna put it onto my darning needle and I'm going to go to the other side and pull through. And then I'm going to tie a knot a couple times <laughs> and then you can cut off and that's going to be securely in place there and there you've got the top of your little beanie for your snowman so you can put that right back on the head there and then I'm going to show you how to make the nose so I'm going to make a slip knot and you're going to chain two one and two and then in the second stitch from the hook you're going to put three single crochets one, two, three. Then you're going to pull tight and then you're going to go into the first stitch over here that you did. So you're working in the round and this is gonna be hard to do because you've only got three stitches, okay? So, but I want you to work in these three stitches to make your nose. So I'm just going to use the 
very top of my crochet hook. And sometimes what you can do if you're having trouble with this is you can take your darning needle and pull up on the stitch a little bit to get in there. Okay, just like that. Okay. And then I'm gonna do one single crochet. And sometimes you're only gonna be able to get into the, the one part of the V-stitch, that's okay. So there's three. And you're gonna do this three times. One. Two. three. Actually, we're just going to do it twice. And then I want you to pull up on the bottom and it is going to look like a hot mess, but don't worry, it's going to come together good. So we're going to do that three, the three stitches twice, and then you're going to cut off, leaving enough to work in. And then you're simply going to tie off at the top. So bring in your yarn just like this and then pull tight and then pull tight on the bottom. And it's gonna give it kind of a little pointy bottom at the at the bottom here, okay? So then what you're gonna do is you're going to take this right here, put this onto your darning needle, and you're gonna go right into the middle, right where you want your nose to be. So I'm gonna go right here. I'm gonna take off the hat for now, and then I'm just gonna work it into the middle of the body, just like this. And I'm going to do that several times because I want to make sure it doesn't come undone. Okay. But it's going to hide in there. Okay. And then you can cut off and it'll go right back in. If for some reason it doesn't, you can take your darning needle and press it back in. Okay, and so now we have our little carrot nose here, but I want it to go off to the side. So I'm gonna take this piece right here and I'm gonna work it in as well. So I'm gonna put it on my darning needle. And then I'm just going to see where I want it to be. I'm gonna make it go over just a little bit. I'm gonna go right in here and pull that through. Just work it through several times till I think it's in there good enough and then you can cut off. Just like that. Okay, and now we're gonna do our mouth and then we're gonna put our hat on and we're gonna be all done. But I am gonna show you how to put the little hanger on the top. So just take a long piece of black yarn, put it onto your darning needle. my nose. So right across here, I'm going to bring my black in for my mouth. I'm going to leave a little piece of string here so that I could work it in later. And then I'm just going to go over with this, making a mouth. And the way I do it is I just kind of overlap. So I'm going to go over and back up again and over just like that. And then if you wanted to go up higher to give it kind of like a smile, you can go on an angle and then pull it back down again, just like this. And then I'm going to go right over here. So I'm just going in and out, making sure I go in and out of the same spot so that it doesn't show. So I'm going to go back over here and put a little bit of a smile on this side. Just like that. And then I'm going to start working this black yarn in, just like I worked in the yarn for the nose. So I'm gonna go in and out of the same spot, going right through the middle of the snowman head, just like that. Then pull tight so it goes back into your project. And then you're gonna do the same thing with the other piece that you started with. And this just ensures that nothing ever comes undone, okay? So I'm gonna 
put this onto my darning needle. Okay, normally I'd work that in a little bit more, but for the sake of the video, I'm just gonna cut it off. Okay, and you've got a great little smile there. You've got your nose and your eyes. Okay, so let's put on the hat. Obviously, you would want to work in all your ends, but I'm just going to leave them on here, put it on so that you can see. And then I'm going to show you how to make the top part of the hanger so that you can hang it on your tree. So all you're going to do is you're going to take a piece of white yarn, make it yeah, about a foot long, put it onto your darning needle. About a foot proceeds to cut like eight inches. <laughs> I love you so much. Okay, and then what you're gonna do is, is I'm gonna take the hat off and I'm gonna go right through the middle of the, the little pom-pom um, with this white yarn. I'm gonna go right up through the center of it. Okay, just like that. And when I do that, it's gonna make a circle at the top and then I'm gonna have two pieces hanging at the bottom and I'm simply going to, well, I'm gonna pull this one out just like this. And then I'm gonna go right back through again, right back through the top and right through the center. Put your finger through it so it holds and then you can pull it up and then right here in the middle, you can tie these two white pieces together into a knot. And I would normally do it more than once as well. Okay. And now you have the little hanger for the top of your snowman head. And then it just fits over. If you're worried at all about your hat falling off or it doesn't feel secure enough to you, I can hold mine up and it does pretty well. But if you're worried about that, you can just put an extra stitch on each side. You're probably using your uh, white or red, whichever color. Just put a stitch here and a stitch there. Work it back into the snowman so it doesn't ever come undone. You can also use hot glue, fabric glue, anything you want to do. And that's just if you're worried about the hat coming off. But with the pattern that I created, it should stay on there pretty well. Okay, so thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, like I said, if you need any help, there's videos in the description box below that should help you with this project as well. Um, and yeah, I hope you're having a great holiday season and I'll see you again soon. Happy crocheting. Bye-bye.